Uh, it was uh, some muscles, so problems with his, uh, his muscles after the national um, trip and uh, then he started one, two training sessions and then he got the problem, the same problems and this was the reason. Yeah. Thanks, Anthony. Coach, yeah. um, Ben Olsen, the manager for Houston, has over the years said that he's he knows how Red Bull plays and is able to kind of strategically it's good. play against okay. um, for, From that, knowing that, is, is there something that you plan on doing differently or do you trust in the system that it can it can deal with whatever he has uh, up his sleeve? Yeah, but, um, we analyzed also Houston and uh, he, will, he analyzed us uh, as a team, uh, individual and also uh, our tactical um, structure. So um, I, I'm not sure about that. If we play the same like uh, the last years here of, of Red Bull style, uh, we have our style, we have our identity, and it's very important for the whole club. So, um, but we have to prepare all all uh, all the um, tactical points. Um, what will happen uh, on on Saturday, and this is for us very important, and not to to look about that. What can be the difference about uh, the last years? So we have our our idea how we want to play with our identity and uh, I I think uh, that we saw a lot of good um, topics in the last game in our first game against uh, Nashville but we have to continue and also to improve something. Next go to JJ. Coach, we've seen Lewis Morgan the mm -hmm. kind of progress he went first 10 minutes and 26. Yeah. Can we expect to see him in a full half <coughs> in Houston or do you think he's still a little bit off and more in that 30 minute range still? Yeah, we have to we have to look also about that. Um, his uh, his performance, especially also in the training sessions, is, is very well. Um, but uh, we have to be careful also um, with his load uh, on on match day. Um, could happen that he play that he will play uh, more minutes than uh, than against uh, in Nashville. But uh, we have to we have to wait and also to see that um, tomorrow the last training session in the week and and uh, then could be happen that he play for a longer time than uh, in uh, in Houston. Next we go to Gary Bradman. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's great. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. Good uh, thanks afternoon. for taking the time out for us. Um, my question is, um, some of the players uh, for Houston are going to be, you know, not uh, featuring for this match. Uh, based on your results that you went on with uh, Nashville, um, have you talked with the team about staying the course and staying positive and trying to get a result before hitting the, your home opener? Yeah, for sure. We analyzed the, the, the all phases of the Nashville game and I said to the guys also that I'm very satisfied about the performance, about uh, the mentality which we showed. Uh, against uh, Nashville and uh, this is what we need also for for the game in in uh, in Houston and now we have we started with two away games in Nashville now the next in Houston and uh, and then we are also looking forward for our first home game with our supporters in our stadium then uh, against uh, Dallas but first of all our focus with all the players is uh, now for the for the next game and for sure um, our our goal is then also to get uh, our first three points uh, in in use. Next, we go to Daniel Reban. How you doing, Coach? Um, obviously, if JMI is not able to go and and Duncan still dealing with his knock, is there any plans to call up uh, Omar Valencia from the second team, or could we possibly see uh, Juan Mina uh, feature with the first team? Yeah, we will see. Um, we have we have some options for sure then uh, to to change then uh, the positions one one against one um, for the left fullback uh, this is what I said at the beginning and the first question we have to look uh, of Jamai tomorrow um, his performance in the training session then we have Omar Valencia Mina then also um, then maybe also to play uh, with uh, with one center back as a as a fullback. So we have some options, uh, but to be honest, uh, I hope that we have uh, a very good uh, situation then probably with, with Kyle to see what happened the whole day today after recovery and also to look uh, for Jamai. Next we go to Vaz. How's it going, coach? Uh, thank you for having the time. 
Just wanted to ask, without giving away too much, we saw Dante Van Zier and Alain Wells start up top of the lane. A lot of success in the net. But do you expect to maybe change up the attack leading going into this Houston game? Maybe we see a Roland Donka or more minutes for Roland Mitchell? No, we will. We won't change our both strikers. This is very clear because I was very satisfied about the performance uh, uh, in, uh, in the pressing behavior and also um, some, some very good moments, some very good situations also in the offense. And uh, yeah, we, we missed some chances, but we had also unlucky moments. It was not only the situations uh, to miss the chance. And, uh, and uh, this is not the reason now for me to change something, though. Um, definitely both strikers, Elias Manuel and Dante Vancia will play on uh, on Saturday in the in the starting lineup. Next go to Daniel Barnes. Very clear this answer, huh? <laughs> 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 that's, uh, that's good. <laughs> good afternoon, Sandra. Hope you're well. Um, I mean, obviously you'll be on the road in Houston, but they'll be missing several players due to injury. Do you feel that this might be an advantage uh, for you and the boys uh, this upcoming weekend? Yeah. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know because uh, we analyze uh, the the whole team, the last games, and uh, also the the Concacaf games against St. Louis. And uh, for me, it's a very good team. Very clear structure also in build-up situations with uh, three two positions. Um, so um, in defense is more than. Uh, that they play with uh, back four, but uh, very good structure, especially what I said in, in build-up situations, uh, very clear principles also, um, how they want to build up, how they want to come in the last third, or this is for us uh, a challenge to, to defend um, these situations, to find our solutions, to find our way then for, for winning balls, but also then to find very good moments and solutions with the ball. And this is for me, it's a very good team, very clear stru structure. You see the principles uh, of, of the head coach. And so, um, yeah, we, we need our best performance um, against Houston, our, our best uh, mentality, our best behavior, and uh, to find for us the moments uh, in the game uh, to score and also to defend. Next, we'll go to Jorge. Good afternoon, Coach. Thank you for your time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, when, you made the, when you made this up um, of Mitchell, was Julian Hall a thought? And my second question, my follow-up question is, you brought on Morgan, and he was an amazing spark in that second half, I thought. Are you anticipating him to be that second half spark, or are you hoping that he gets back into the starting 11? With uh, Lewis Morgan, you mean? Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, F uh, first of all, um, yeah, we had uh, for the subs the situation uh, also with Julian Hall, but uh, we decided then in this moment for, for Ronald Mitchell because uh, of his uh, speed, and this was for, was for us the, re the main reason. And, uh, and he had also, especially the last weeks in the preseason, uh, very good moments uh, in, in, the, in the friendly games, and this was for us the main reason then to change it, uh, first of all, to, uh, with uh, Ronald. And also we have to be careful. Uh, Julian Hall is, and I had to, today in the morning after our training session a great conversation also with uh, Julian Hall and his, uh, great character, top top young player. Uh, but um, we have also some rules here in, in America w to be careful with uh, 15 years old players, especially when we have uh, the the game time in the in the evening. So and uh, Louis Morgan is uh, what I mentioned also is a very important player for us and uh, he will be very important also for us uh, um, in the starting lineup but we have to find the right moment for 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 this uh, decision and uh, yeah, he he's a very good option for us but uh, I think he will be on Saturday first of all the option also to come from the bench. Next to Christian. Hi, good afternoon, coach. Best of luck against Houston on Saturday. Uh, just wanted to ask you, you mentioned that there's a possibility that center back might be playing on that left side. Uh, would that mean a change in formation? Um, and then just a follow-up question is just what is Car um, Cameron Harper's status? And, and lastly, uh, any news on when Dennis Jangar will be able to join the team? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
three questions. That's good. So first of all, uh, the first question uh, was um, for the center backs. Um, yeah, for me is uh, could be could be the option uh, with um, Andres Reyes to play um, as a fullback. Then it's more um, yeah, a, a defensive option. And uh, but uh, when he when we decide that he's playing uh, as a as a fullback, then is uh, on the right side, not on the left side. So this is what I what I mentioned about that. So and uh, the second question is what was the second question? Uh, Cameron, <laughs> uh, Cameron Harper. His uh, his stats is uh, so uh, he trained. Yeah, I would say ten days with the whole team, and uh, he he will sit also on the bench for the Houston game. And uh, it was an option also in in Nashville, but uh, we have also to be careful about about him. Uh, the timing when is the the, the right moment for for the for game time and the last question Dennis ah Dennis Genga yeah I don't know <laughs> this is uh, I'm I'm uh, new in this country about uh, the visa process and all these these uh, things so hopefully he will come uh, next next week next one Mark coach Serge Goma is a player that mm. has so much promise yeah. and he has really really struggled to get mm. fit. Mm. Um, can you talk to us about what's happened with Serge over the preseason? Mm. We still see him on the mm. injured list, and uh, again, he's had a rough ride. Can you tell us an update of what's going on with Serge? Mm. Yeah, that's... Um First of all, Zash and Goma, as, as I get to know him now, is uh, six weeks, beginning of January, so um, is a great, also a great character, also for his age is... Uh, very open-minded also and uh, he 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 wants to learn every day uh, in technical in tactical things so um, it's it's great great professional behavior also um, but um, yeah that's uh, that's very sad for for all the medical stuff for me as a head coach also as a person and uh, not to see him every day on the on the trainings pitch so um, this is also um, he had very good moments in the preseason, um, especially at the beginning also. And uh, you see his quality, his potential uh, as a as a winger player, ten position, also as a striker. Um, but now the last days, um, he had also some problems now with uh, with the muscles, and uh, we have to be careful about him also. Um, yeah, of of his load and. Uh, and we can raise now the next the next step. So this is actually now the situation of Serge, and we will do everything for him because uh, this is uh, fast great great person and great player, and also very very important. And we have to help and to to support him. So it's still his hamstring that continues yeah. to be a problem. Yeah, this is a little bit yeah. But I t hopefully um, he will come yeah the next two weeks then also to start the individual program, and then we can continue this process. We have time for two more questions with Coach. First, go to Anthony. Uh, Coach, you, you talked about um, Manuel and Van Zier's uh, performance, you feeling positive about it. Yes, they didn't score. What do you tell strikers when they do everything right but score? How do you keep them in the right headspace so that they will move towards that in their next game? They were sitting uh, the, to the same place like you today in the morning in our individual analyze. So we analyze uh, the situations uh, in their defense behavior and also in their offense behavior, what we can improve, in, especially in, in, uh, in some ball position moments to find the right timing for these deep runs. So this is, this is our job f for me as a head coach and also to improve this uh, behavior. And this is what I told uh, to, to Elias and, and Dante and not and not uh, to lose the confidence, uh, not to lose that because uh, to miss a chance, this is normal, to be honest. This is very normal as a striker. And But what we have to, to, to do and to continue is to create more chances, to come in more situations in the box, in the opponent box, so with deep runs and to, to have a good connection also, both strikers together. And we saw some good moments and to be, and we, we criticize also the guys when they when they didn't uh, good a good job. So, but these both was good, was very good in the in the game, and uh, yeah, we had the chances. But uh, the the situation with Stante 
first half was unlucky, unlucky situation, unlucky moment uh, with the post uh, in the situation with Elias. He can shoot better. This is this is clear. So, but uh, good run, good deep run, and this is what we have to create. And this is what I what I say to the guys. So. Uh, not to lose the confidence, but to work hard, to work hard in our defense behavior and our structure, to find the right moment for the pressing, and to have these good top positions when we have the ball, when we when we play around the box, and though, and also to go aggressively in uh, in the opponent's box. And this is what I what I said, and and this is for me very clear, and this is also why what I answered very very clear that that is for me hundred percent. Hopefully nothing happened tomorrow in the training that they will play on uh, on Saturday in, in Houston because the performance was for me was very well. And we'll finish up with Daniel Reban on Zoom. How are you doing again, Coach? Um, obviously, once once all your fullbacks are, are fully healthy, you have a, a decision to make with your center backs. You have three quality high end center backs with Noah, Noah, Sean, and Andres. How do you th think you're going to go about? Uh, deciding who plays is it going to be like a rotation type of thing or are you going to eventually find two two guys that you go with every week no I, c I could I could answer very simple we play then with three center backs but then maybe you ask me about six positions or <laughs> about more than ten positions <laughs> no but this is we need this uh, every successful team need uh, more than only uh, when we play with back form more than only uh, two center backs this is normal this concurrence uh, situation so uh, nothing nothing special so uh, and uh, i don't now want to rotate something or to have this rotation then uh, but uh, uh, andres also his reaction in the very open conversation before the game in nashville uh, in our walk and I explained him the situation and this is and also his reaction in the training is top so but it's a long season and uh, i'm sure about that that we don't play every game with uh, with back four so it could be also sometimes the solution with three center backs but this is then not um, the reason okay now we have to play with three center backs because um, that every uh, every of these players then are, are very satisfied, no? Because then it's a tactical reason, and uh, so this is our decision. What we have to take uh, week by week uh, to analyze uh, the games, to analyze the opponent, to analyze then also the the training's performance. So and then we will decide uh, week by weekend. So both um, center backs made a, a good job also so John Ellis and uh, Noah Eilis especially in his first game in the MLS and Andres' reaction is top and it's a long season we need all these players